What's up, YouTube land? Let's get started. All right, so we're heading up to floor eight. We got to go back to the piano where the piano monster was, and we're actually just about to finish the hotel. We have the hotel, and then we do a little bit of flashback sequence, and then we do the final part. Uh, we're not. We're definitely, definitely not going to finish this time, but I'm going to make it a point that we're going to finish next time because uh, I really enjoy this game, but I'm also like super sick of it at this yeah. point. When we did the RE7 playthrough, that's the most I've ever practiced for any game. And both, I would practice it in two segments because I did it in two sit downs. And I probably practiced each section, I want to say like 20 times a piece. <laughs> Maybe more like 10, but like it was so much effort. Yeah. And uh, I'm kind of at that point. Also, I got the platinum on this game. Uh, I think since we last, uh, since we last uh, sat down. And um, the platinum involves uh going through the entire game without getting hit one time Rip. which is uh but you said you can do like saves yes you can save but, but it's also it's like still, that's still very ridiculous. annoying but if it was oh, like dude cool. like if it remembered you, you didn't hit first like an entire save file that'd be impossible yeah it uh not super not super fun the worst part is not oh Kidding me? They are kidding you. Come on. Come on. Yes. One bullet left. Because I did not. I don't think I brought my machine gun along. I think I saw something here. No, I didn't. Okay, so I have like essentially no bullets left, which is great. That's awesome. Do you literally? Uh, what? Uh, what was I saying? So you only have like some machine gun, and that's it. Yeah, that's literally it. So that's not even enough to kill one enemy, to be honest. <laughs> Would you? All right. Uh, so this Fibonacci, uh, the Fibonacci sequence is a famous uh, thing in mathematics. I'm not gonna go super into it, but it just essentially tells you how to type this, these uh, keys in. So we're gonna do that. So we have uh, what is going on? zero, one, one, two, oh. three. Okay. Five. Weird. Alright. Oh, you have to undo it. Got it. Okay. One. Three. Two. One. Three. Four. Five. Five. So you just literally follow what it, what it says to do there. And this moves the statue, and this allows us to leave the, uh, the hotel. Oh, uh, yeah. Didn't you say that the hotel's, like, done? Yeah. Yes. The hotel is, is uh, the, we are done. Then, like I said, we do a kind of extended flashback sequence. Not super long. Probably 20, 30 minutes. Uh, and then we do the, uh, as, then this is not me jumping the gun. They, they literally said it. The um, laboratory part. So we are going to... No, my spoilers! Well, they said it, they said it! No! I know, it's all over. I'm just exactly like, you know how like Reddit is super uh, anti-spoiler to the point of like ridiculousness? Uh, I'm them right now. Thanks, Rebbit. Okay. I love Reddit. Let's, uh, I know we, we, we looked at the black, we listened to the black one, but let's go ahead and just, uh, listen to these other two, just for that bit. Or no, we listened to the blue one, so we'll listen to, listen to all three, they're all, like, 30 seconds long. I saw her again, the girl. The girl. Everyone here is terrified of her, and I don't blame them. Every time she shows up, we all feel some kind of intense pain. It's hard to describe her. Honestly, I don't think she's trying to hurt us. From what I've seen, it seems like she's looking for something. Or maybe something. Da, 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 da. This time, when I saw her, I swear, I swear she was trying to speak to me. But the only oh. word I could make out was daddy. Da, da, da. So, of course, he's talking about the girl that randomly appears with the gas mask. I, I, I 
Good question, random guy. All right, so we did that. Yeah, if, if she's not trying to kill you, why does uh, she do a big, huge shockwave when she appears? This guy's voice actor. He's talking about the tyrant guy, of course. As he seems to disappear at random for days at a time. There's no way a beast like that can just hide without anyone noticing him. There has to be some part of the hotel we don't know about. Mm. In any case, if you're listening to this, if you ever see that red glow, run. Don't fight. Just run. Do not touch Willie. Good advice. <laughs> okay, and, I clap uh, for that performance. Yeah, it was wonderful. Oh, and let's uh, forget if we listened to this one before, but let's. Uh, I think there's only four of these. While Pipe and I were making our daily rounds, we were attacked by some huge monster. It was horrible. It looked like some kind of giant, ferocious. Animal. All right, so that's that's about the spider boss that was. Yeah. Uh, so there's really no reason for that one. I didn't know if it was like more lore related. All right, uh, grab that submachine gun. Yeah, I suppose I will because I don't. Have, I have revolver bullets, but I don't want to mess with that. Oh no, I can at least put them two together. How many do I have? Six. Oh, and I have more machine. Oh, three more. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks, game. Yeah. Thanks, game. Appreciate you. Appreciate you kindly. Oh yeah, let's uh, equip this to down there. So at least we have something. If there are any enemies down here, I am just going to run past them, because it's not worth it. Are you good on ammo, or...? Oh, goodness, no. Cool. I mean, are you going to be, like, soft lock for the boss? There is... Oh. Okay, good. We're fine. No, down here. Okay, good. I do not believe we're going to be softlocked for the boss. Uh, there's a fair share of gameplay and a fair share of stuff you get before um, the final boss, which is the last time you really have to oh. use anything. Oh, you got 25. That's enough for two enemies now. Yay. <laughs> Literally. Okay. Ooh. You want to uh, Yeah. Okay, and as I said last time... It's kind of cool that this is that uh, that room you were just at. It so, is crazy. You don't, I don't think you need to do this, but let's just show it off real quick. Why not? 400, 233. You find it in the exact same uh, place as uh, document as all the other ones. And then, uh, so yeah, you literally do not even need to pick that up. But if you want to go back and forth real easily, you can. All right, we got, uh, I forget what that's called. E Pi Lambda. All right. E Pi Lambda. Sorry to all the people who've been watching and they're like, his Noah's. Uh, so once you do this, you can't go back to the oh, hotel. Cool. But we got everything. His Noah's Grecian Alphabet. I hate you so much. So sorry. All right, so this is the forest. This is the longest part with Christopher. By, I mean, by far. We only did one other part as Christopher before, and that yeah, was, was the... Like five uh, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> so this this starts immediately after the last one. So you just... Uh, it's been a... If I had another minor complaint about this game, it would be that the way they split up the Christopher and the... I believe your name's Rodrigo parts. Ethan. There's way too much time in between them. So, like, Ethan you just did that whole, that whole hotel thing. It's like 50% of the game. Uh, and now you, uh, you're back as Christopher. You just left your house. If you remember, all we did was we found the sphere. What? What? What is this thing doing? So, wait. I think it's just a small spoilers, I guess. There are no things that can hurt you as Christopher. Uh, there will be a bunch of jump scares and stuff, but it is, you know, it is what it is. Uh, this section, 
shows you when you pull it up where uh, the next piece of the sphere is. We have one goal in this part, and it's to find six pieces of this sphere. And uh, here's part number one. Oh, is that so? It's searching for its parts. Ooh, is that so? Why are its parts just like 20 feet away from your house? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did not think of it that, that deeply. It's it's a convenient excuse for you to like learn some story stuff. Yeah. So sometimes it randomly... Do they say that they like dug it up around here? Yes. Okay. They actually show you a brief cutscene. I think... I don't know where they when they show it. But uh, of, of you digging it up. Uh, so essentially, because it's been a couple weeks for us... Christopher is in this uh, in this nice little small town, and uh, they're trying to dig up just for like archaeological stuff or whatever. Who's in there? Damn it! Answer me! And uh, they found this thing, and then they had a big like cave collapse, and a bunch of uh, workers died. And at first he was like pretty you know cool, and then he found the thing, and he was like, well, I don't care if everyone dies. Jeez. We it's must find the sphere. We must find all the pieces of the sphere and yada yada. And then we found that the most cryptic note of all time that requires an insane amount of finding things. And he was like, Monster. I have unlocked no, the answer to life. Nothing. This isn't... Yep. It's not real. So yeah, uh, clearly the point of this is that he is beginning to uh, lose his mind. Beginning or continuing to lose his mind. I like this part because uh, I like the exploration of this game the most, and I dislike the gunplay and the constant enemies the most. Yeah. So this is actually pretty Kino. The simple fact that it's just like... Like, I think a true walking sim with absolutely nothing uh, being dangerous is boring, but when you, like, throw mediocre gunplay and a billion enemies and uh, two bullets in the entire game, it's like, this yeah. is not fun. Pretty brutal. I am somewhat worried about the final boss, but um, we sh we should be okay, all things considered. Although I guess you could do a really bad Spencer. Have you played Outlast, like Outlast one or two? I played all of them. Outlast two especially is like a game that is just so oppressive, and you are the most pathetic uh, protagonist ever who can't do anything. So that is the other extreme of being not fun for like completely different reasons. Yeah, I, I, I uh, famously did not like Outlast 1, but I did like, like, I really do not like Outlast 1. I think I gave it, like, a 4 out of 10 or a 5 out of 10 on, uh, the re I did actually a review on this channel, if anyone's oh. curious, uh, under Completing Cast. Just search Completing Cast or Outlast when you're searching our stuff. Anyway, I liked Outlast 2 a lot better. I probably gave it, like, a 7, 7.5, something like that. Where did they go? What happened, Matthias? Speak! The Outlast 1 is one of those games that's, like, universally loved, and it should be perfect for me, but I was like, no, this is, like, cool idea, but, like, pretty contrived, and just goes on too long, and... Yeah, I always like the first half of Outlast games, but then once they get, like, all the science mumbo-jumbo stuff going on, I'm like, eh. Yeah! Like, Outlast 2 ending being, like, spoilers... Probably just like some sort of weird shadow. science device affecting be. the main guy's brain, and it's hard to tell like what happened and what was fake. Lame, it's lame. So yeah, this just says that there was the uh, uh, ac accident we talked about, and Christopher doesn't seem to care. We're holding a village wide meeting, and they don't know how the heck Christopher is going to deal with this. We can use this administration warehouse key. This part is kind of samey because it's just like a small village, so finding all parts can be pretty tough. In fact, I think I went in the wrong one. I like how there's like doors that you can open that don't do anything. Yeah, in fact, I'm pretty certain that is the wrong one. Yeah, because this is the correct one. Alright, so we get piece number three. Alright. So let's continue on our way. I wish I had a glowing, floating orb of insanity. What? What? 
And then obviously when things slow down, that's uh, that's not me. That's the game just being like, hey, scary. Yeah. Also the the uh, the setting of this is so awesome. Like the woods at night, dark, rainy. This entire game is just like, hi. I forget, I forget if there's anything in here. Now right, let's read this. Dear Amelia, some very strange things are happening here in the village. Yesterday we were told that some parts of the mine collapsed and that some of the miners were trapped, but I was suspicious. I knew there was no way that could have happened. I secured the supports myself. Everything was absolutely fine. They told us to stay away from the si site until after our meeting, but I went down there to see myself. The mine was completely intact, and there was absolutely no signs of any of the miners. Not a drop of blood, a hair, not even a stitch of clothing. Christopher has arranged a meeting tonight for the whole village. I'm going to expose the farce and figure out what the heck is uh, the beep did with those men. There's no telling what else he could be lying about and what else he might do to the rest of us. Love you! Yeah, so we didn't have to do that, but world building. World building. Alright, so we're gonna go... Yeah, this way, and then through this house. Right. Okay. Um... Yeah, everything's kinda, kinda, kinda samey here. Uh, although... Oh, oh, oh! The main thing I was saying is, like, and this is not to get whatever about it, but the weather for the past, like, five years has been so lame. Where, like, we never have days in at least Pennsylvania where we live where, like, it just rains like this. It's either, like, 100 degrees, 0 degrees, doesn't rain for weeks, and then just explodes rain for, like, 30 minutes. I want a day where it's just raining. Yeah, you know? today it rains so bad that uh, there's, like many rivers like forming at the side of roads and that's just like pennsylvania has been like le like i just said last five ten years it's just like nothing 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 that <laughs> for like not even like a full day oh yeah today we got uh it poured so hard for about an hour and then it just completely stopped and yeah. it's like no i like i just want days where it's like rainy all day like drizzling or a little bit of rain or whatever it's like yeah. why does it always have to be constantly if there aren't rain days in october like literally the rain month i'm gonna be so mad so mad this one the first time i did not find it because it was not very obvious to me all right so this tells you how to open this up if you look here you see that that is three uh, the uh, whatever it's if you look at it you just you just put it with that it's Three, uh, four. 35 uh, 15 and then I believe it's 10 yeah 10. we open this get pliers this is actually super helpful because now we can unlock essentially everything all right we're gonna go down here but yeah it's that's that bums me out because I like days where it's just like it's a rainy day. Like they they have terms rainy day for a reason. It's like your rainy day fund or you save a game for a rainy yeah. day. It's like where's those comfy rainy days? It's just a light rain all day long. It we just does not happen in PA. Literally do not get it. It's it's either that or just absolute explosions. So these pliers uh, unlock these gates. I believe there's four gates. And the thing that really sucks about it suddenly flooding is that uh, we have a flea market like two feet from our house uh, that everyone really likes. It's really popular. But I feel like it floods a lot, then uh, it ruins that flea market like a lot of the areas. And it's quite bad. So I don't know how you would ever be able to find that. So that's memory number 12 out of 20. Uh, buh, 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 buh. Okay, so we're going to this uh -oh. one. Blood. Yes, things go from bad to worse pretty pretty quickly. That's fine. You have a glowing orb. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're fine. We're fine. We don't need anything else. Now let's read this. I am not a simpleton. I can tell when someone is hiding something. Five men vanished out of thin air, and Christopher's main concern is not to let anyone know the truth. No, something is definitely wrong with all this. Now that I've seen what the sphere artifact can do, I don't trust Chris Christopher and his motives behind all this. He lied to me from the beginning. He lied to everyone. I've hidden some of the pieces of the sphere around the village. Hopefully this will buy me some time. Hey, there you go. That, that explains why uh, why the pieces are uh, pieces are hidden. Quiet. Alright, and... Okay, I 
think we are good here. And we're gonna head up this way. Whoa! No! Bobby! It's pretty cool. Yeah, right? My eyes. It's either super dark or oh, I don't even have a source of light, but it's not it's not the darkest. Super dark or super bright. I believe I'm heading. Yeah, I'm heading the right way. Good. Hey, I saw you back there on the bridge. Hey. No. Christ. Losing my mind. What is this? Are these? You did this, Christopher. You did this. How could this happen? S -s -s Spoilers. I can't remember anything. Oh. Oh, look, look at my fancy Ooh. shoes and everything. You're a distinguished English gentleman. And I just got the uh, chapel key. So we're going to head back to the chapel. <coughs> I should have checked it before, but the chapel was locked. And you could hear voices inside, and he's like, They started the meeting without me! So that's... that's You, you missed that, and I apologize. I, I am on bended knee. I am so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to lock this in the meantime. This might be a shortcut, actually. Actually, do not. Oh, okay, this will work anymore. Yeah, it was kind of a shortcut. Alright. This part is so confusing, I'm glad that you know what's going on. Yeah, happening. it really, it really is. This, this probably took me like a solid yeah. hour the first time. Hello? I have a fancy phone. Christopher. Did you call everyone? I did. Good. And how are they feeling? Very bad. More calm now after I talked them down yesterday. All right. Remember, don't tell anyone about what happened until we understand it ourselves. And don't mess I'll with the spear. The tonight. Can phones be like that again, please? <laughs> the good old days. No, just like because it looks so friggin' cool. It looks, cool. yeah, it does look awesome. But, what? Uh, huh. Duh. A drinking glass. What's this mm. doing? Hey, some chalky milk. Everyone, please remain calm. As some of you may have already heard, there was an accident at the mine this morning. Some of the men are missing. But do not worry. Matthias and I are doing everything in our power to locate your loved ones and return them back to you safely. In the meantime, I'd like everyone in the village to take the rest of the week no. away from your daily responsibilities. And there's a pizza party? To start, I propose a toast. To accidents. Oh, he poisoned everybody. Please, let us drink. To the future. It's even more direct. Oh, he, he just shoots everybody? I guess no one else has a gun for some or reason. Or stopped him. He has a six-shoot revolver. It was... It was me? It can't be. It was me, Coppin. Now, I wonder if there's a piece in here. X, Y, Pi, 2. X, Y. So this is piece five out of six. Okay, we're doing pretty good. All right, so we are going to leave out of here. Get up here. Ah, okay, let me go. Thanks. Okay, this part coming up was the one that got me that got me the most. So, all right. There is, you know how we've been using the pliers, Ed? This is a gate right here that you can use it. And I'm not, like, dogging on the game too much here, but this is too dark. Like, yeah, I went past this. Like, just so imagine if I didn't tell you that was there. All right, where do I go? And you run past, right? It's, like, it's pretty gosh darn dark. And this is the, this is not only the one you need to get to the sixth one, but the one to get to the end of the area. So yeah. that's, like, it's a little too dark in my opinion. Oh, I thought I unlocked that uh, one. I thought I unlocked them all. I guess I didn't. Doesn't matter at all. 
That's why uh, when we first started, I said that this game has part uh, Eternal Darkness, and this is the part I was talking about. Just the general losing your mind and hearing them go like... <laughs> Which, by the way, Eternal Darkness 2, never. Never, ever. Never, ever. The, the original creator or director of um, Eternal Darkness tried to have like a Kickstarter for some spiritual successor, but it didn't hit a troll. And he also, uh, the creator of Silicon Knights or whatever, seems like a big piece of crap. Yeah. Jeez. From everything I've heard from... So I was thinking about backing it, but I was like, there's no way this is going to be good. Yeah. If something doesn't reach its goal, do you get your money back? Yes. If it doesn't hit the goal, you get your money back. In fact, it doesn't It doesn't charge you until it, it meets the goal. Oh, okay. So this is the sixth and last piece that we need. I knew it! On my way to the meeting, I found Matthias lying in pool, in pool of his own blood <laughs> outside the last cabin on the trail. He gave me this little metal piece and told me to hide it from Christopher as best I could. To whoever finds us know this. He killed them all! Christopher is the one who murdered everyone in the village. Marcus. Thanks, Marcus. Alright, so if you... This is the end part. If you got to this and you didn't have all the parts, it wouldn't open. He would say something like, No, there is still something I must do. But thank goodness we actually... Uh, we're able to do this. Because, as Trevor pointed out, uh, very samey, set up in, like, a small little portion. Uh, you could definitely be on that area for yeah, quite some it, time. Even though there's a small portion, there's a lot of houses that are completely... Uh, yes. Just nothing to yeah. So this game is Eternal Darkness and me really hardcore right now. Oh, yeah. And then you get this final piece, but it's not really necessary since it's right there. Or it's not really necessary to know since, like, you have to get it right there. And we finish the forest! You what? It's funny, because I haven't watched these, uh, cutscenes in a long time. Like, probably like two, three weeks by this point. What, do you have the marker on you? What is going on? Oh god. My eyes. Actually, you know what? Yeah, the sphere is kind of like the marker from Dead Space. It sure seems like I it. mean, it's not the first time that an, uh, an unknown object is the thing that drives people crazy. You know, it's like not the first time that ever yeah. happened, but... Um, yes, it, it also has a little Dead Space in it. Which is why this game is generally just a, uh, like, a love letter to, like, every single possible, uh, horror game. A little, a little bit of everything. The underground. So this is the final part of the game, the underground. A.K.A. the lab. So we're gonna, like I said, not finish this this time, but do some pretty, uh, pretty important parts. Um... My main complaint about this part is that it is a lab, and labs place? always, even in something like Resident Evil, always looks exactly the same. Right. There was uh, ammo on that barrel. Thank you. Oh, super helpful. So yeah, we're gonna try... You know what, actually? Uh, this is so not worth it that we might as well just use it. Right. So I gotta move this... Fragile. Fragile. Yeah, this game is just so dark. It's so dark. It looks like some kind of a scientist's lab. Hi. This has to be the source of all those damn monsters. Biggest piece of crap ever. Oh, you only have 10 minutes. I thought you... Holy crap, he did put 20 bullets into one of those guys. Yeah, for some reason it wouldn't let me reload when I had 10. Oh yeah, uh... There are a couple... I'm gonna, about to get jump scared. Oh, there's one. Cool. They don't even die in one hit? No, I think I missed. It did a there it, it did a blood splatter. I hate you so much. Where'd you go? It's, it's, turn it's behind the, um... Come on, baby. Uh, I don't know where it went. And just imagine doing this and not wanting to hit one time. Yeah. 
There we go. Hello. Dude, the recoil on this gun is ridiculous. Yes. You do have no upgrades on it, but yes. Something, what does that say? Something is moving in there. Cool. Hey, so we got upgrade number 38 out of 50. So as you can tell, there's a lot near the end here. All right, so there's no, I just want to absolutely make sure I get everything here. Because at this point, finding all of the uh, extra uh, stuff is extremely important. Hey, there's a cabinet it. back there that you opened. Thank you. Uh, ooh. Yeah, items. Okay. I'm, like, not so much worried on health. Yeah, I think you have three full heals now. I believe you are correct. But we're going to take a little bit extra time just because also I'm, I'm very low. So this unlocks this. Okay. So we're now we're in a... We're, yeah, we're back in, this, in the same area, but we're going to head down this way. We can open this. Yes. So there's a bunch of friggin' bugs everywhere in here. Because, I hate bugs. of course, I hate bugs. Where are you, bugs? There. Is that it? What? Yeah, you might be right. They might literally take more than one. What? I would almost rather, like, take the friggin' hit at this point. Where are you? Mm -hmm. Where are you? Bro. Don't mess with me. Oh man, I'm gonna get jump scared. I literally do not see it. And the, the, the worst part is I hit it twice. You know what, screw it. Jump scare me. Go! Whatever. Keep in mind, when I had to do that last trophy, well, I've not had to, but when I did that last trophy, I had to find every single one of those. Yep. So annoying. And they hide so well. So if we go past here, we're gonna be doing that ale. You can tell there was a. Oop. We're going to. Let's see if we can kill it with 26 bullets. Hey, bud. Hi. Only 16 bullets? Oh, crap. Is there another one? Oh, that scared me. I thought I heard something. Okay, so we're gonna be coming back to this spot an awful lot. So these are access codes. It tells you like where you can go in and everything. Oh yeah, oh baby. <coughs> Give me everything possible. Uh, and I think this game kind of realizes it because they're just throwing throwing stuff at you in, in this part. But we're better. still gonna do our absolute best to find everything. Uh, name Emily, LL. Um, skip the rest. The various tests performed show a strong similarity with the energy emitted by the sphere. The subject appears to emit the same energy pattern, producing uncontrollable temporal anomalies. We will continue to contain the subject inside the incubation chamber, as suggested by Master Christopher. Is that the mask girl? I think so. I mean, they did say uncontrollable temporal anomalies, which seems pretty apt. Yeah. Alright, so we're gonna get on computers and we have to use actual computers. I guess uh, that makes sense why she uh, hurts you when she's not trying to. So, I'm not gonna look at everything here, but they give you some, like, bonus stuff where you can just look at, like, random photos of stuff uh, and random documents, which is kind of neat. Researches. The anomaly has been contained and confined with the incubation. Well. So, yeah, there, there's some stuff like that. It is not important at all, so I'm not gonna mess with it, but it gives you a little bit of bonus. Um, so our goal is to get to the level 3 key card. Uh, we get the level 1 as a freebie. Uh, the rest of them are not freebies. Where's our anti-waifu Stephanie? Just you wait! So this, this, it, it pulls in so close that it makes it look like this key card is like huge. But it's just like a standard size yeah. key card. Maybe a little bit bigger, but yeah. Yeah, I always find that to be kind of funny. 